Oh my God. Okay. So I have two wigs. One that's a pre-colored, which is this one. And then one that I colored, which is this one. And we're just going to do a comparison of like which one is better basically. So this is a two wig video and she's pretty long. So I do hope that you stay in and watch this wig. Okay. Well, this tutorial, these different tutorials. All right. This is from the first wig is from Eon hair and this is a pre colored wig. All right. And let me just say like, I, she she's cute okay but when i pulled her out the box she looked a little dusty right so i needed to make sure that the color was vibrant so i did i am going to go ahead and watercolor this unit um this is what she looks like um you don't get a lot of parting space you don't get a lot of like lace or you know edge hair but this is just like a really uh, affordable throw on and go wig okay so the first thing I'm going to do is just soak the wig in some water, some warm water. And as you can see, as soon as I put her in the water, she started bleeding. But that's a-okay because I'm going to watercolor the hair anyway. So I'm going to let the hair soak up, get soft. So when I do watercolor hair, watercolor the hair with the Raging Red from Adore, um, the color will take and it won't look splotchy. So I'm gonna pour a whole bottle, one whole bottle of Raging Red by Adore into this water. Same water, it's okay because the water is already red. And then I'm gonna make sure that it's thoroughly mixed and I am going to uh, dip the hair in there and let it sit. Now, I really didn't care about the lace turning colors or anything like that because, like I said, you don't have a lot of parting space. So, a lot of the lace was not going to be exposed. And I am going to go in and bleach the actual uh, knots that are, are exposed so that that red tone is just going to disappear regardless of the situation. So, I am going to use 40 volume with quick glue. I'm going to do like a half a scoop, mix it together, and then I'm gonna apply it on the like the two inch lace allowance that's on this wig. So after that, I let it process for about 30 minutes and then um, I'll wash it, condition it with silicone mix and use any shampoo of your choice. And then uh, after that, this is what she looks like. I did let her air dry. Now, as you can see, the pre-colored wig Needed a little assistance. I did have to go in with some more color to make her a little vibrant because like you saw when I pulled her out, she was a little ashy. And then on top of that, I had to, um, you could see there. there's a good line of demarcation on this wig. So you can see that it's not blended really good. Um, but for the price of this wig and for you not to have to do that much work to it as far as bleaching it, I think whatever because I am just going to put some waves in it and you're really not going to be able to tell once the waves are in there so I'm using my um ion a curler and I'll have a link down below you can get this from Amazon and I am just going to loose wave curl this um I am not the best styler as you guys know but you know I try to do what it do and I'm gonna just go ahead and curl the entire wig
So once the wig is fully cov color, I mean curled, I'm gonna go in with some heat protectant from Beyond the Zone. I like using this because it gives the hair a nice sheen. And then I do go in with some uh, uh, holding spray, but I don't think I did that on camera. And I'm just going to go ahead and finger comb the curls out so the waves could come through and pop. And like as you can see, like I said, you really can't tell that it's a harsh line of demarcation in the back because the hair is in, it's, uh, in a wave form at this point. And so I put her on Homegirl, and Homegirl was looking cute with the little red hair. I am so ready for the fall. Like, I'm tired of summer. I am ready for the fall colors, the warms, the reds, the burgundies, the wines, the, the browns. I'm just so here for it. The, the gingers, the dark gingers, the orange gingers, the yellow gingers. I just want to see all of them. I'm, I want to do all of them. Okay, so I'm going to take my Ruby Kisses in the shade 16, and I'm going to put that all over the front of the lace just to help it blend in. Mind you, I did not have to pluck this wig because, again, it did not have enough hair for me to pluck in the front. So this is just one of those throw on and goes. And because it's a throw on and go, I am going to use Boho Liquid Gold to adhere this wig. These are my zigzag shears. These help me not get a super straight hairline. This is going to help you get a realistic hairline. Um, while cutting it. So I'm going to just use the zigzag shears just to cut off the excessive lace. And then I'm going to use the liquid gold to apply the wig down. Once the lace is all cut off, I'm going to take some uh, Got To Be Free spray and I'm going to spray the front of the hairline and I am just going to make sure that everything is melted downwards and I'm going to take an elastic band, wrap that around the edges and let it dry for about 5 to 10 minutes. And basically do any of the touch up work that I need to do, like recurl some parts because, again, I'm not a good stylist. <laughs> I can make a wig. I can make you a good wig. But as far as like putting some curls in there, girl, we gonna struggle, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add some little waves back into the front of the hairline. And basically this is what the wig looks like on me. Mind you, again, this is a pre-colored wig, okay? And we're about to do the battle of the wigs right now because I'm about to show you one that I made. The color that I came up with. You feel me? So anyway, I hope you like this one. If you do like this one, I will have all the information for this particular wig linked down below in the description box for you guys and let's get on to wig number two.
So we're on the second part of this wig, this wig, this video, and this is gonna be a longer portion because we're bleaching and coloring in this video, okay? But as you can see, <laughs> baby is fine that wig is wigging in a good way okay and so this is from slove hair so we're going to do a eon versus slove this is a 200 percent density wig 28 inches and it's a a, a stock a wig a stock frontal so basically you do have some parting space but it's not a lot all right so for this tutorial i'm going to use 30 volume developer an Express 9 level lip from um, Blonde, Blonde Brilliance because I want to get a nice lip so I only have to do it one time. As for color, I'm Cherry Bomb and Burgundy Envy from Kiss and Adore. So those are the two colors I'm going to be mixing to achieve the color that I want to do. Okay you guys, so I look crazy but excuse this. Um, this is the picture that I'm going for. I've seen this photo on Ming Lee. And she looks cute in it now I did a, a video on a wig that's similar to like that but basically it's the same thing I'll show you my wig right here and we're just gonna update it and recreate it for you guys because I did that years ago maybe like four so um I felt like this is a long wig let's make her burgundy highlights okay all right so let's do it okay so I have my wig sectioned into five different sections so there's three there's four in the back and then one in the front which is for the money piece highlight section okay so I have this is how I have it sectioned it's super easy super easy to get through so this is what you want to do so I'm gonna take the first piece and I'm gonna I'm gonna bleach this piece first because I want this to be the brightest and I want it to lift the most so I'm gonna use my developer and my bleach and I'm gonna heavily saturate this section okay and when I get close to the roots or to the knots I'm gonna blend it up so I won't have a hard a harsh line of demarcation so basically all you want to do right here is just highly saturate this piece of hair and then once it's fully saturated you want to add some more bleach to make it even more saturated so it could come out even and you want to wrap it in foil and do not and I mean do not crumble up your foil because when you crumble up your foil you get lines of demarcation in your bleaching job and that's not what you want so don't crunch it up just fold it neatly you'll you'll see me do it right now Okay, so you want to get your foil, lay it nicely in there. I actually use two pieces of foil because this hair is pretty long. And I just uh, folded it up and um, wrapped it nicely and neat. Boom, let's move to the back, okay? So I like to comb out the section first to make sure that it's no knots or tangles. And then I'm going to weave the section in and out. So you see, you saw me weave it. The top section I'm going to take and I'm going to put some bleach on the tips, okay? Now you, you gauge how far you want this to go up. So this was the back. So I want it to go pretty far up, but I still wanted a lot of the, um, you know, the darker color to show. So I'm going to put it on the tips and blend it up. And then I'm going to take the other piece that I did not bleach and put it on the tips and blend it up. But I'm not going to take it as high as I did the other piece because when you um, rinse it out and um, look at the wig all together, it's going to look blended. It's going to be, it's going to have lower areas where the color starts and higher areas where the color starts. So it makes the blend of the actual wig looks pretty better. So, and then after I do that, I take it and wrap it in foil and then move on to the next section. So this piece is a big piece, so I'm going to separate it into two. I'm going to go ahead and do the chunky highlight weave. And you're going to see me do it right now. Comb it out. Comb that thing out because you want to make it easier for yourself. And then you're going to take the bottom of the rat tail or you can use your finger and uh, weave it. There we go. And weave it. Pull it out. And you're going, you're going to bleach 
the ends and blend it up again how high you want it to go it's up to you so i'm just basically using my hands for this you really don't need a brush and so i'm gonna just uh, uh saturate the area you want to use a lot of bleach because if you use a lot of bleach the bleaching job is going to come out even so the more streaky the bleach job is the more streaky your hair will come out so you have to always remember that so right now i'm gonna put um, bleach on the other area and I'm not going to take it as far up as I did that first piece and once I have a saturated that you see one is higher than the other I'm gonna take my foil wrap it up nicely and neatly and um, let it process and so I basically do this for the entire wig now when I get up to the top like closer to the face um, area like where the layers are I'm gonna do like the balayage technique where I'm gonna highlight Hi, highlight highlight um the side of the piece that i'm taking and you see i'm doing like a streak of bleach on the side and then i feather it down and you want to make sure that that's heavily saturated as well and i do that when i when i get closer to the top um for the areas because i do want color on the sides of my of my wig or my hair and um, I don't want the money pieces just to be sitting alone. Like it has to blend good. So I like doing this as well. So this is one technique that I do. So I do this only on two pieces of the wig, this side and the, the exact opposite side of the wig. I do it like that. And after I blend it and it looks good, I'm gonna just go ahead and wrap it in foil. okay and so for the last section at the top so i'm also going to do the balayage technique on this as well like as far as putting the bleach on there you want to put the bleach on each side of that section so you're going to see me put pull up the bleach going towards the top and then you're going to see me pull the bleach on the other side going towards the top and you're also going to see me make a line through the middle but it's all going to be um uh saturated and blended because again when you uh, rinse out your wig you want everything to be seamless and cohesive so that's what i do and once i finish doing that i'm gonna tie it up i'm not tied up but i'm gonna use the foil wrap it up make it um uh, and let it process now i left the bleach on here for about 20 minutes and then this is how much it lifted this is the nine level lift it lifted pretty good okay so at this point i'm gonna take my bleep bucket and i use a 40 volume liquid developer i would have used 30 but my sally's only carried 40 so i use 40 and i'm gonna pour five um scoops of bleach into that uh, i think it's a 32 ounce bottle i use a whole 32 ounce bottle for that and um, I mix it and then I just literally put my wig in there, make sure it is satur saturated because I want the dark um, parts, the black, the 1B parts of the wig to lift a little bit. Now, I only keep this on for about four minutes and honestly, four minutes, four minutes was a little bit too much for even 40 volume developer. So um, you could even get away with a 20 volume developer with this because I feel like mine's lifted a little bit too much because I did want my top of my wig a little bit darker. But you definitely wanna massage that mixture. This is low ball like a bleach bath, but it's not a bath because you're not adding soap, you're not adding water. You're strictly using developer, liquid clear developer, and bleach to get this job done so um, it goes through the hair um, super easy and um, you just want to make sure you're massaging that bleach throughout the entire wig so you won't have any blotchy spots okay so this been sitting in here for about four minutes I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off you could tell that the black has turned into like a brown and that's what I wanted because I don't want it too light I just wanted it a brown tone so when I do the watercolor method and dip it It'll be a hue of the reddish color, not as light as the parts that was bleached. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out, and I am going to show y'all um, me dipping it. But I don't have my tripod, so. 
Okay, so I'm filling it up with hot tap water and I'm gonna go ahead and add the cherry bomb to the water. I don't know why that one's coming off big, but hold on, let me use my Okay, so I have two bottles of Cherry Bomb and a half a bottle of Burgundy Envy. I poured all of that in there. And then all I'm going to do is let my wig soak. So I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like once it is um, dry. I'll be back. So this is what my wig looks like after it has been plugged, baby hairs. And actually, I removed the uh, red staining off of the lace because my lace was super red. And what you use is color oops. I do have a video on my YouTube channel or my page for you guys so you guys can know exactly how to do that. So since the wig is done, let's just jump into the installs. You guys see me install a hundred, hundreds and hundreds of wigs. So we're gonna make this super easy and fast, all right? I already have my stocking cap molded and I'm gonna go ahead and put my Ruby Kisses makeup on my stocking cap. Um, it's winter, it's going into winter, I think, or it's already winter, one of the one of the other, but my skin is getting lighter, so Ruby Kisses is kind of a little bit too dark for you, girl. You feel me? That shade 16, I probably have to go to a shade 15. But um, yeah, so this is my wig. I'm gonna go ahead and pin out, pin back the hair and the baby hair as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my hairline because I am gonna do boho lemon burst to apply this wig. I'm only gonna use two layers because I don't foresee me having this wig on for a long time because I do have to switch it out and I do wanna wash my natural hair. So I'm gonna uh, end up taking it off after a couple of days. So I'm gonna do two layers and I'm gonna use my handy dandy little uh, brush that I've been using that I love, uh, okay? And um, after the two layers are applied, I'm gonna use Boho Liquid Gold to put it on the back of my uh, cap so my lace or my wig won't shift backwards because I absolutely do not like when my wig shift backwards and my hairline just becomes sticky and gooey, like I don't like that. So once all the glue has been applied, I'm going to go ahead and lay down the lace. I'm going to take that brush that I used the Ruby Kisses to put on my stocking cap and dab the hair, the actual lace. Again, you guys, like certain laces stain, certain lace don't. This particular lace stained when I did dip it, which was no problem because I knew going into the situation that my lace had a potential to be stained because this is red and red usually stains lace but you can remove stains off of your lace and bleach will not do it, okay? You have to use a color remover in order to remove it off your lace. Also, I did. I, I want to notate, I did bleach my knots, okay? So after I did the color, the water, the, after I did the watercolor and I removed the stick color off the lace, I went and bleached my knots after. So I did go ahead and do that. Oh, and then I also deep conditioned with silicone mix. I don't know if I have to tell y'all that, but you guys know I did. So after the lace is cut and the baby hairs are laid, I'm gonna take my even hairspray, spray my hairline, and wrap my lace down. And after that's been sitting for 15 minutes until it dries, I'm gonna take a comb and comb out my baby hairs so they can be a little bit more fluffy. And that is that, best friends. I think this wig came out really, really cute. So I, the color, because it's a uh, semi-permanent, it will fade when washed, um, but it doesn't bleed. It hasn't bled on me yet. Okay, you guys. So this is the end, final scene look. My <laughs> final scene, final look of this wig right here. So you can tell she's ombre because she's lighter at the ends, and my money pieces are in the front, and she hitting. Yes. Okay. So. I was gonna put curls in it, but then I was like, ooh, that's gonna take too long. Yeah. Flat iron, man, this was too, too long. This is a uh, 200 density, 
So this is a very, very, very full wig. Uh, as far as the hair quality after I bleached it, it is dry, but that's to be expected. Uh, I, mean, I am gonna go in and do a deep conditioning when I take this off, but she looks good. Girl, what? And it's Saturday, so I'm about to go outside. I don't have the curls in, but did I, did I do, like does it look like my picture that I was going for because I feel like it does, but it just does not have the curls in it, okay? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, any questions, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll be down there to answer them. So let me know down in the comment section, which one would you prefer? Would you like the pre-colored wig or the wig that you gotta put a little bit of elbow work in it to make it look cute? Me, myself, it's nothing like a good wig that you made. You just so proud of that wig. And look at the gradient. The gradient is just so nice, it's seamless, and it's just beautiful. So let me know down below which one would you like. And if you are interested in any of these wigs, I'll leave them down below. Bye.